Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout, where we have finally made some really, really damn good solid progress towards the water chip. We have made our way here to Necropolis, and we've broadly satisfied all different factions here. Set, who seems to be a bit of a bastard, but whatever, seems broadly happy with us. We've killed some super mutants for him, taken back the water pump. Meanwhile, the ghouls down below are perfectly happy, so we've actually fixed the water pump for them. So, water is now flowing about. That seems like very, very good news, because that means if they've got the water pump, they don't mind me taking the water chip. So now I know where the vault is too. I freed a ghoul prisoner who told me it was down a manhole hidden in this here cell right here. So I'm going down into vault. Wait, which vault was it? Vault. I can't remember. We're going down into a vault anyway. And we know there's potentially glowing ones down there. Haven't fought one of them yet. So not sure how tough those bastards are. But basic feral ghouls don't seem so bad. Hopefully glowing ones aren't that bad either. So in we go. Let's see what we need to do to fight our way to the flipping chip. So down to the right bit of the sewers and down into the sewer hole, down deeper and deeper. And here we are underneath. Right, so we've got ourselves glowing ghoul and glowing ghoul. Right now, yeah, immediately we're straight into fighting the glowing ghouls. And yes, the layout of the vault is exactly as I anticipated. It's exactly the same as vault 13 and 15. So in this game, they just seem to be like 100% standardized. So first things first, just need to take out these bastards. Let's see how tough they are. So, gently step out and get yourself a shot at them if we can. Only 39%. Uh, can we get a basic shot in 39%? Oh, yes, of course. You don't have the right strength for this gun. Fine. Take a few more steps forward. There we are. Just end, end the combat if we can. Any chance when we're a bit closer we can get... You know what? 70%. I'll take it. Now, that has done 26 hit points. I should have tried speaking to him first, shouldn't I? I'm just going to check we can't speak to them, because I don't know they're actually stupid. I've just opened fire, which is really nasty of me. Hello, friends. Can we be friends? And you tread without permission. Okay, they do speak, but it would appear they're... Ouch, you were hit for... Wait, no damage? Okay, this is intriguing. This is very intriguing. Um, Shoot him in the groin, please. There we are. That did 24 damage. Now I'm just going to... Uh... No, we're okay for now. I'm just going to take two steps back to get me out of the way a bit if I can. Guys, finish the one off that I just injured. They have... Yeah, they have way more movement than normal ghouls. Uh, there we are. Shoot that one. 14 hit points. And Ian, why are you using a knife? Are you actually genuinely using a knife right now? Right, I think their action points are low. Because, or at least rather, their sequence is low. Because Taiko just got two goes in in a row. Fine. So the ghoul has been shot a couple of times. He is almost dead. You're also... Okay. These guys seem pretty damn manageable, actually. So take a shot. Boom. He's down on the ground. Beautiful. I'm just going to fall back now. And then someone else. Just, yeah. Slice down. Lovely. And slice down and dead. Okay. This seems, yeah, manageable. Interestingly, they don't seem that tough. And also... They, um, yeah, they hit me for literally zero damage. Right now, I am very, very, very over capacity because, unfortunately, uh, yeah, I'm suffering from the effects of buff out withdrawal. I don't think I'm addicted. It would tell me if I was, presumably. But unfortunately, yes, at the moment, my character is not doing so hot on account of that. So I have... Oh, I have less action. Oh, blimey. Right. I've only got six agility right now. Okay. <laughs> Note to self, never do drugs in this game. Just don't do drugs. Bad idea. Also, it's not actually telling me what the drug withdrawal problem is right now, because... Uh, hang on. Karma. Apparently, I'm a champion. That's lovely. Killed lots of people. Perks. But I can't see any active effects being listed, because, yeah, poisoned and irradiated and stuff are up here, and they're not in play. But I don't see anything about, yeah, suffering the withdrawal of drugs, and I can't, like, uh, hover over to actually see that. So I'm not sure how long I'm going to be suffering from the negative effects of these drugs, but unfortunately that means literally every gun I can't use properly. So my accuracy is currently through the floor. So I'm going into what may be the final dungeon, like, you know, presumably the final boss at the end of the first act of the game, and my character is absolutely screwed right now because I did drugs once, like, you know, yesterday. So basically don't do drugs, kids. The vault looks particularly scavenged. You think to yourself that nothing of value could possibly remain. Okay. Let's just have a Luke's around here just in case. So the description is right. Hold down shift. Literally nothing of any value is showing up here. Right. Down the elevator. Assuming it's working. Do we have power? Seems to be. Lovely. So in we go. And yeah, down to... Oh yes, of course. I could just skip straight down to floor three. 
That's nice. No, let's check floor two first, just in case. And we've got ourselves a handful of glowings. But other than that, I think we can handle that, to be honest. Let's actually... Well, is there anything even worth taking here? Hold down shift. Doesn't look like it, but... Ooh. Safe at the back, guarded by six glowing ones. You know what? Go on. Why not, eh? Let's figure out what all these guys are guarding. It must be something decent, otherwise it wouldn't be guarded by six glowing ones. And despite my appalling low strength, my high gun skill is counteracting it. 81% still decent. Go. There we go. 23 points there. So these guys shamble over to me. One of them gets finished off. Lovely. In come his friends, presumably. Yep, Tycho is just running ahead right now. Good, good, good. Right. Over here. Can I get a good shot in at you? I'll take a 70% chance. And I did indeed hit you for 21 damage. And I don't have enough action points, sadly, to actually uh, reload. Wait. Why have I still got that many action points? I would have thought my action points went way down because my agility... Maybe temporary debuffs to agility don't impact your number of action points. Maybe it just affects your sequence. Fine. End the turn. And Ian. Ian, you're... Okay. I need to basically take some stuff... Wait, I can't take stuff off Ian because I literally can't take anything off his person right now. Because <laughs> I can't take it into my own uh, capacity. So, unfortunately, Ian, if he's determined to use a flipping uh, knife... We're just kind of stuck with him doing that for the time being. So if I take one, two, three steps, then I should still be able to get, yeah, one single shot at this guy. And that do damage? Yep, that did pretty well. And then you knife him to death. Ian, Ian, draw your most powerful weapon, okay? Combat tactics, draw your best weapon, all right? Yeah, lovely. I know you've got ammo. Like, literally, Ian, you're holding a shotgun and shotgun shells, okay? I can see you've got those. Oop, it looks like Ian actually just pulled out a gun there. That's marvellous. Ah, the shotgun's a bit better. Probably because, yeah, the difference between my strength and its strength is not so severe. So I can still get 95% chance to hit with a shotgun. That's good. Nope, Ian's still determined to use the knife. But that's fine because I think the ghoul is almost dead. Ghoul was hitting the left leg for 18 points. Can I get over to... I don't think I can even get over there this turn. I'm just going to run over here. It's fine. End the turn. Someone else take care of it, please. And Ian missed with a knife. Twice, three times. Lovely. Luckily, these ghouls, yeah. They can't do anything to us, which is intriguing. Now, can I hit the ghoul? Pretty sure that's the ghoul. Yep, that was the ghoul, hopefully. Right, now, guys, what was in this safe? Hello, you see a locker. You need more action points. Oh, no, never mind. End the combat. There we are. Crack this open. And what have we got here? It is... Hello. What's this? And it is... Oh, just some Radex. And I presumably can't pick it up because I literally don't have the capacity, right? Uh, yeah, I can't pick it up, don't have the capacity. Right, um, somebody, right, guys, 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 over here. I need everyone to basically carry everything for me for the moment. Okay, guys, we're just going to wait it out, all right? We're going to wait out until I recover from my drug use, okay? How about we just wait until, like, the following day? Wait until morning, there we go. I've gained two strength, two agility, and one endurance. So I think I've now got all of my... Oh, good. Right. Got all my abilities back. Okay, guys. This is marvellously good news. Right. So I've got over that buff out I used. No. No. Open it. Open it. Thank you. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little crappy little mouser gun off Ian. On the kind of off hope this means he won't use it anymore. I'm also going to take his... Uh, he doesn't even have a knife. Where are you getting this knife from? Where are these things you're using coming from? Now, I've realised, of course, I am technically, like, you know, in a vault where there are full of glowing ones. I should probably just kind of keep the Geiger counter going on here. Let's see what's going on here. So, uh, right now, Geiger counter is on. Not detecting anything and displaying zero rads. Okay. We're safe for now, at least. Good. Keep an eye on that. In which case, nothing else here as far as I can tell. Down to the third level. Now, situation appears to be under control here. Ian's just gone for a stroll. <laughs> Ian, Ian, where are you going? There you go, you're coming back, lovely. Now, I'm guessing, yeah, two good lockers in that room. Got ourselves two ghouls over here. One ghoul over here. Got ourselves, ooh. Okay, a dead merchant being potentially eaten or otherwise taken care of, but... You see the water processing control computer. It is functional. That, that is very, very good news for me. Yes. Now that is what I wanted to be seeing. But you know what? We don't even need to take out these guys. I think we can just basically straight past them. We don't need to worry about this. We don't need to worry about this at all. 
Because there's nothing in there. Just <laughs> Aside from my companions, who have run in and everything's fine. Uh, oh, okay. They weren't kidding when they said this place looked ransacked. There's nothing left here at all. Fine. Anything left over there at all? No. Everything completely ransacked. In which case, just got to fight our way past these three guys. These basically seem to be like the final boss of the first, like, you know, act of this game. Which seems a little bit easy, to be honest, after that bloody super mutant. And after the very first flipping Khan leader we ran into. Right. Hello there, lads. I've got good news for you. And the good news is I'm about to shoot you. Boom. Lovely. Right. Shoot him. Back off. Uh, just a couple more. You guys go first. I'll be your backup because I'm good at shooting you from a distance. Ah, dinner's arrived. Okay, I don't feel bad about shooting you anymore. So, and as usual, like, yeah, basically my companions seem to be completely incapable of triggering... Oh! Oh, you finally got a gun out! Oh, thank flipping goodness! Well done! Well done, Ian. You picked up the memo. Right, never give him that 9mm gun again because he was determined to use it. And if he ever ran out of ammo for it, he used a knife rod. I think he just got emotionally attached to that gun, for whatever reason. Uh, right, come over to... One, two, three. Let me get a shot from here. Onto you. And we've got... Yeah, go for it. 90% headshot. There we go. That'll do. That's another one of you down. Lovely. Oh, but there is a danger here, which is um, Ian's got his 10mm automatic back, I think. <laughs> so I'm probably going to die. One, two, three... And then one more shot for you. Last one. Right in the groin. Boom. Down he goes. Job flipping done. Well done, guys. Good work all round. And this was the... Well, this was the weapons lab back in my vault. But there's nothing actually here. And this merchant. What did he have on him? Literally nothing. He was just a poor passing merchant that kind of got himself eaten. In which case... I think this is it. I think this is actually the water chip right here. In we come. And... Oh... After shutting down the water purification computer, you can now hear the repaired water pump working in the distance, bringing water up from what must be a deep well under Necropolis. Okay, so, confirmation that even though we've removed the chip, the pump is still working just fine. You earn a thousand experience points for getting a water chip. Oh yes. Oh flipping yes, finally. So I'm guessing now, therefore, that my next objective is just, plain and simple, just return to the vault. Hand it over to the overseer. Unless anyone, like, on my way out of Necropolis has anything to say to me, but I think we should be under control. Right, night has fallen, but if I recall correctly, yes indeed. We've actually got a transition zone we can pass through right over here beyond where the children of the Cathedral were standing, suspiciously close to the bloody super mutants. So, in which case, well, there's a couple of locations we haven't actually been to yet, but there's not really a huge amount of point to heading to any of them. Now, that is, yeah, that's, that's Junk Town up there, isn't it? Yeah, that's Junk Town. That's the hub. That's Necropolis. So, the areas we have not been to yet are, we've got, yeah, we've got the raids we've taken care of. Yeah, the Glow in the Boneyard, which is there and way down here somewhere. It's, yeah, there it is. I think that's the Glow down there. So, we'll be going there sooner or later. <laughs> Just not quite yet. Fine. So, is there any real point to going to either yet. Yeah. No. No, there's not. But there is a point to return to the hub because the comment said apparently I never actually got my reward for taking out the death claw because like the guy who was terrified ran off. So I was supposed to speak to like his bodyguard or something because now we've got a whole bunch of stuff we've just looted here. Let's return to the hub because that is indeed a good trading hub. So off we go in this direction. Should be nice and quick. In all fairness, it barely takes us any time out of our way. So we do get a random encounter and it is uh, just some random ghoul. Okay. That's, that's fine. Who are you? You're not dangerous, are you? What are you exactly? You're just a... a floater. What is a floater? It was a human once, or descended from humans. The tissue deterioration was likely due to acid or radiation. Oh, that's a bit, uh, unpleasant. Fine, I guess we'll shoot you as you decide to basically start this. Shoot you in the face. There we go. So that has done 29 hit points, and he is down to almost dead. Well, this seems under control. Guys, finish him off. Job done. Okay. What was the point of that then? Did you have anything on you? No. Okay, just a random ghoul type we haven't run into before. As far as I can tell, nothing else here. So, on we go, I suppose. Well, assuming there's nothing in these boxes. No, but there's something here. Is that a... Ah, that's just a flare. Fine. Grab an extra flare. Why not? Continue on to the hub. Hopefully no interruptions this time. In we come. Lovely.
So, the hub, and I want to start downtown, because I need to speak to the Fargo traders. Here we are, Rutger. I found out what happened to the missing caravans, Rutger. Really? Who are the bastards, the water merchants? No, your, your boss didn't tell you. I literally told him, unfortunately. Uh, no, it was the Deathclaw. I saw it. No, it was actually a group of these huge mutants, as it turns out. I didn't actually see them, but I killed the Deathclaw. Some huge mutants are destroying my caravans. That's almost as good as the Deathclaw story. And I'm not joking, I have indeed got a holodisc that I found on one of the mutants, so I can prove it. And indeed another thousand experience for that beautiful. Now we've also got a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to be wanting to sell, potentially, I think. Like that 9mm thing which we need to get rid of to make sure that Ian never accidentally manages to get his hands on it again. Right, better that the weapon shop doesn't have anything I need, but I do have some stuff I still need to sell, like some random combat armour I've picked up and stuff. Oh, as it turns out, that 9mm thing's really bloody valuable, despite being not actually that good. Right, put that away for now. That's worth like $1,600. Yeah, that's interesting. And as she's out of money now, let's head over to the really good quality weapon store over in Old Town. So you know what? I'll just clear you out of money, because why not, eh? And I'll also just take a little bit of extra ammo from you or something. So, traded a bunch of extra stuff away. That's now got me up to, yeah, that's now got me up to almost 9,000 cash. Now what I would love to have would be you had some really, really fancy, lovely armour I wanted. That's the stuff right there. But that's going to cost 12000 So if I want that, I'm going to need some more money. And I do kind of want that. I wouldn't mind having some really, really nice armour. Flexible bodysuit, lightweight, high-tech, military-grade armour. Yeah, I'd like that. But if I want that, I'm going to need some more stuff. And luckily, I think I know where I can get some stuff because there was a house somewhere around here where if I kind of went into it, people attacked me on sight. I think it was this one over here. I never actually went back and murdered them. So let's finish those bastards off, then potentially rob what's on their corpses and swap it for that armor or some other good guns. I mean, alternatively, I could just murder one of the police officers because they're clearly already wearing that armour, which is kind of frustrating, but I don't want to cause trouble with the police on the hub. The hub seems important. I kind of feel like I ought to just kind of, you know, leave those guys as it is. So yeah, here we are. We've got seedy-looking person and seedy-looking person right here. So if I just step in the door, yep, they're just going to basically take a shot at me immediately. Right. Step outside, let my companions go in first. You guys, in you go. Go over to an actual gun. End my turn there. Right, Tycho, Ian, in your pop. Lovely. In a... Ian is just walking straight up to them. Well done. Is anyone interested in maybe using like a... You've missed. Rough guard. Ian was hit for 10. That's... No, but... He's using his flipping knife again, isn't he? He's using his knife. And Ian has been really, really badly hurt. He has got stim packs on him, so... Oh, yeah, they're just repeatedly targeting Ian. And I can't even see what's going on right now. Um, one, two, three... You are... You're a seedy looking person. Good. We've got... Apparently I don't have a shot at you. Sadly, I don't think I even can get a shot at you this turn. Right. One, two. And now... Are you actually in range if I had the... Never mind. I don't think I can even get in here. Right. Just get, get into the room if we can. There we are. <laughs> now just basically hope they don't shoot me too much. Uh, end my turn there. I'm probably about to get murdered. So, a couple of people running backwards. Including... Ian, don't use a knife. I've given you a... I feel like Ian deserved this, but fine, we'll give this another go. Okay, the key, Ian, is for you to repeatedly use your best weapon. Draw your best weapon. Prefer ranged combat, okay? Prefer the ranged combat, okay? Are we good, Ian? Right, sneak into this place if we can. Yep, sneak in. Sneak through the door. And nope, they saw me straight away. <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't a big hit. Right, go for this. Take a shot at... Oh, there's a few people in here. Oh, there's there's more people than I was expecting, actually. I'm not sure whether all of them are... All of them as bad as the other. I thought it was only two people. No, it's four. Right. Okay. Um, can I hit you accurately with the... I can hit you in the head. Oh, go on. 60%. Go on. Nope. Total miss. Well done. Right. Get inside. And everyone follow me, please. And use guns. Is everyone okay with using guns? There we are. 15 hit points. Shot a bit. Now I'm inside. We should be all right. That guy is unarmed, so don't worry about him. And now Tycho is being shot an awful, awful lot, which is a concern. Right, this might be dangerous. 
This might be really dangerous. Yeah, he uses a stim pack times two, but then therefore doesn't have the action points to do anything else. You're both not Ian, right? Yeah, you're almost dead. You're a seed looking person who looks unhurt. Right. Go over to a single shot against this guy to finish him off. Right. He's now dead. Good. One person down. I think you're the guy who isn't armed. So, hopefully, that should be fine. You're standing right next to... Yeah, you had a 10mm automatic. Grab that right now. Why flipping not A? So, grab all that stuff. And... Ah, now I can't reload. But that's fine. I don't think I desperately need to. I've got plenty of health. Tycho is double stim pack, so we should be fine. That guy, I think, was unarmed. I think this is under control. There we are. You go in there. Oh, is you actually using the 14mm? Ah! <gasps> No. He reloaded the 40mm, then went over to a knife. Well done. Tycho, I think, can take this for now. He's... Tycho has been killed. Right, this is a tough room to crack without people getting killed here. Oh, this is interesting. I just got spotted through the door and they've started firing. Well, in that case, let them come to us. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go into... Yeah, I get a grenade going on, actually. Yeah, grenades. Grenades are fun. If we can kind of cluster them around the door, I can just grenade the door. Life is good. I mean, I've got a flipping 81% chance, just like from here. There we are, and I've been- Oh no! Oh! Oh, oh, this is gonna go so badly. I just shot a child and killed them. I feel like this is good to go so badly wrong for my reputation in the hub. Um, end my turn. Who else wants to murder me all of a sudden? Because I didn't mean to. Is everyone else going to really object? Because I feel like everyone else is going to really object. You just bought yourself home six feet under. Oh, I feel like potentially the police are going to feel the same way. Because <laughs> I did just basically shoot a child. Right, Ian has been critically hit. I've been hit for only seven. And now we've got some people outside. Now, does anyone mind about the child murder? Because everyone seems really relaxed about that, which is great. Now we've got ourselves... Hang on. I think this might be just perfect, actually. I can get a... Yeah, go for it. Go! Oh, yes! That'll flipping do the job. Nice! That is several of them dead. I can even actually get a second one on these guys. 87%. Yeah, go for it! Another grenade! Oh, yes! Another person dies. Beautiful. You're presumably almost dead. Go back over to this thing. Can't reload it again. Okay, that was a good use of two grenades. I'm happy with that. End my turn. Someone else shoot him. Yep, fine, lovely. This has gone really well, apart from that bit where I've murdered a child. Um, but if no one minds, then neither do I, it's fine. All right, step inside and, well, step over to the door at least. Step over towards the door and we'll see what's left actually. There's a, what's that at the back? There's a person at the back. It may possibly be another child. If so, I've killed one of you, but I can save another, so life is good. Right, just take this opportunity to reload and then end my turn there. It's fine. Let someone else go in. Ian, you're up next, potentially. Yep, Ian's first in. Ian, don't get yourself killed. Don't do it. No, you've put yourself in a stupid position. Rough guard hits. I can get over to... Actually, I think you're blocking the door. I think you are blocking the door quite nicely. But I can't have got a shot. He's dead. Nice. Are we good? Can we end the combat here? Yes, we can! And I get 590 experience for killing that child. I'm so sorry! I didn't really mean to do that. Hello! Who's back here? It's... Oh, well, there's the child. There's the child. Remains of child. Yeah, uh, the child was just holding some rocks. Um, Who's this in here, then? <laughs> oh, I feel bad. I feel bad about everything at this point. Right, through here. There we are. Door opened. No, no, don't stop looting the corpse of the child, John. That's not what we're doing right now. Thank you, stranger. I don't know how many weeks or perhaps months these things have had me here. I'm very grateful for your help. I'm sure the Brotherhood of Steel is also. Okay, um, that child wasn't like the son of, like, the elder of the Brotherhood of Steel, was he? Because if so, this could be a concern. I'm glad I could be of help. Thanks again. If you stop by the Brotherhood, I'd appreciate it if you could let Talus know I'm okay. All right. Um, your son isn't. I really hope that wasn't your son. Yeah? Okay, that's good. So that guy's just been freed. That's good. Right, it's just more 10 millimeters. 10 millimeter automatics for days here. Right, just keep grabbing all that stuff. Unified just had stim packs and knives. All right. And finally one. Ooh. A combat shotgun minimum strength 5, because of course it flipping is. But... 
Might be a nice step up from my existing shotgun. Might be very, very nice indeed to have a bit of a step up there. Weighs 11, and yeah, minimum strength 5, but then North End, so is that gun, and I've been using that a lot, and that's just been great fun. Right, you know what? That's all 100% fine. Let's take what we've just taken off those guys. You didn't have, like, armor on you, did you? No, it was just guns. You guys didn't have any good armor, it was just, like, leather armor, I saw it. So let's head over here, sell all of that stuff. Maybe I can actually get myself to go with my brand new shotgun, some brand new armor. Okay. Inventory carefully all set up, because of course I need to do this as a trade or rather a barter, rather than actually just as a purchase. So, speak to you, let's see what we can do here. So, stuff I now need to get rid of. Flamethrower, can't see myself using that anytime soon. Honestly, happier with my basic guns, plus it's worth 2,000. Start selling the 10 millimeters for like a thousand a piece as well. Yep, up to 4,000, lovely. Get rid of my old shotgun. Don't need that, got the combat shotgun. I think I've got a spare 10 millimeter I don't need. No, I'll keep my basic one. I think that's just the one I've got. So that's fine. Keep that for emergencies. Get rid of these knuckle dusters. Don't need them as well. May as well sell those. Oh yeah, those are quite valuable actually. Nice. And now, yes indeed, I can trade for that, plus some money, for the combat armor. That, that's what I want right there, combat armor. Yep, so that's 12,000. That's absolutely fine. Unfortunately, this is actually going to take some time, because I now need to basically add that in 999 at a time. Because that's all you're allowed to add in. Because even if you hit all, it's not all, it's 999. <laughs> so just basically, just keep, uh, keep putting it all in. Keep putting it all in, we'll get there eventually. Right, you know what? Good a flipping. This is probably a terrible trade. But whatever. Let's do it. Make the offer. I get myself some new armor. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm happy. This is what I wanted to see. Hang on. Back out. Back out. Back out. Get that armor on me right now. So my armor is just going to jump like crazy here from... Oh, yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, up from basically no resistance. Armor class 23 up to 28. And get myself some big old resistances to lots of, oh, massive resistances increases to all sorts of, oh, yes, 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 damage threshold and damage resistances just flying up there, this, this was the right thing to do, and I can sell my old armor, I can get a little bit of money back too, and also just trade up the flamethrower ammo for some more extra ammo for my lovely gun here, so, yes, now we have got ourselves, oh, yeah, now we've got a combat shotgun with loads of, actually, not loads of ammo because I need to take the ammo back off Tycho because I think I gave it all to you. Hang on. Yep, now it's got loads of ammo. Now, now we're good. All of that money finally putting something really damn good. I like this armor. This armor, damn impressive. And I've got myself a really, really nice combat shotgun right here. Let's just get this thing out here. It's indeed damage 15 to 25. Nice, and it can fire R. Oh. So many more times, so many more times, much better range, happy with this. Oh, that's such a nice loadout right there. Let's also just very quickly also, while I'm passing by, just make sure, get that Geiger counter on my wrist, make sure there's nothing else going on here. Nope, zero rads, did not pick up a single rad in the vault full of the glowing ones, quite frankly, I think that's lucky. In which case, far as I'm concerned, time to head back. Let's turn this into the vault, nice and early, hundreds of days early in fact. And as we've left the town now, guns at the ready people, just in case we need to make any changes here. Lovely. Reload everything before we set off. Yep, got myself. You know what? Let's use my new shotgun up front. My new shotgun up front, which is... Oh, it's only five action points for a main shot. Oh, and a burst. I like the look of this. Don't know what a burst is, but we will definitely consider using that if anything stupid enough to run into me in the wastes. So I think I know what we're doing right now. We literally just have to return home. We have to return home. I mean, arguably... The direct route is probably not the most efficient because it doesn't mean you kind of cross all these mountains. So uh, there's an argument for saying I could actually nip like more in the direction of Ah, but there might well be. There's probably just mountains over here as well. I was thinking like, you know, if I came over here and then I head straight north up towards Shady Sands, I might have been able to skip some of the mountains. But there's probably just mountains over this way anyway. You know what? Screw it. Vault 13. Let's head for home. And now I've got good armor, good equipment. Oh, you know what? You give it a go. You flipping try it now. What is this? A group of guardsmen on patrol. What am I seeing here? Police officer on the hub. Okay. That's that's fine, isn't it? Police officer. Police officer. Hello. I know that damn thief circle is around here somewhere. Well, they may well be. But you'll never catch me, copper! It would just be agonizing, by the way, if you found the water chip with, like, you know, say, like, only, like, a week or two to go and you literally didn't have enough time to walk it back to the vault. That'd be so, so damn sad. Right. Continue on our way. That was a nice benevolent one there. Passed by Junk Town. I don't think we have any business there at this point. Slow right down as we enter the mountains. But making good progress here. 
I think, yep, by early February, we should indeed be back at the vault. Job flipping done. Yep, there we are. February begins. And unless we get unlucky, we're almost there. Overseer, I have got such flipping good news for you. And I think they just sent me a reminder saying, hey, get on with finding it. It's under control, guys. It's done. I've literally just got it. Was that actually just like a pre-programmed message that triggered at like a particular moment or something? Because if so, bad timing. I literally have it for you, all right? Heard about these places before, never been in one. Yes, you have. You were with me the last time I nipped home, Ian, for goodness sake. Short-term memory loss, damn it. Right, over here, over to the overseer. Job is flipping dead. Oh, we could just plug it straight in. I think this is the terminal in question. No, it's just flagged as a normal computer here. Right, over to the overseer. As far as I'm concerned, my job is done. Except no. I actually need to physically open the doors. Come on. You can figure this out. I believe in you. And indeed, if I actually refer to my pit boy... Ah, yes, that probably was actually a message there. A hundred days left. So when it reaches a hundred days, they say, Hey, hurry up. No, no, it's fine. We got this. We're flipping here, all right? Back to the overseer. Job done. I now expect to be held as a hero and given a giant pile of money. Have you found the chip? Yes, absolutely I have. But I think we should talk more about letting people leave the vault. Yeah, focus on the important stuff, damn it. Well... You've certainly earned that right, but let's take care of survival first. Give me the chip and we'll discuss this when you give your report. All right, fair enough then. Okie dokie, one moment, the chip is initializing. Here, 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 there it goes. Self-test is grain. Reboot is good. Ha! It's working! And it looks like we have a winner! <laughs> oh, you've... You've saved us. You've done it. You are very welcome indeed. You saved the vault. You should be proud. But now we need your report. We'll get it from you in the library. Please, go there now. All right, fair enough. So, I log my reports in the library computer system, and you should return to the Overseer to finalise your progress. Beautiful. So, I've given a report of everything that I've actually seen out in the wastes. Back to the Overseer we go. And actually, no, hang on, I have indeed levelled up. Ooh, new level. Like a good new level here. Very, very good indeed. And it's time for me to pick a perk. Very, very good indeed. Right, what is available right now? Awareness, yeah, I saw this one before. I can probably do without that. I'm happy with just the vague idea of injured, seriously injured, almost dead. I've been kind of getting on just fine with that. Hand-to-hand -hand attacks, one action point less to perform. No, definitely not. For each level of bonus move, you get two free action points each turn that can only be used for movement. Ooh, that's tempting. That's very tempting. Earliest sequence, I think we're fine because I've got a really high sequence already. Educated, well normally I'd say always take that, but I feel like I'm under control, I'm getting plenty of skill points. If anything, I'd probably this time take like slightly less intelligence in order to have like more agility and more strength going forwards. Empathy, giving me an idea for how a conversation is going, ah, I can do without that. Sneak up at night, first aid or doctor skills get better, I can probably do without that too. Throwing range up for thrown weapons, no, well it would be nice for grenades, but it's not essential. Quick pockets I've already taken once, but I could take it again for even more flipping ability to actually do that. But no, I think we're okay. Chance of being attacked in the waist is down. No, we're fine on that front. Now, sharpshooter, plus two to perception, even if you've already got a really high level perception. Tempting, but I'm not sure if that affects chance to hit for VAT shots or not. So, yeah, sort of tempting. We'll see about that. Swift Learner, definitely not. Snake Eater, 25% poison resistance, very nice. Silent Running's kind of tempting, because I can run around while in sneak mode and potentially get a few more sneaks in, but I'm most tempted by Sharpshooter, I think. Yeah, I think I will indeed take Sharpshooter for a little bit more accuracy, especially as I'm getting into bigger, meatier guns that probably miss more. Boom, lovely. As it's so close, let's get repair up to 100%, lovely. Science could probably start doing with heading in the right direction too. Lock pick up to 80 because that's nice and cheap to raise anyway. And it probably would not hurt to start investing just a little bit into energy weapons because yeah, it's Fallout. Generally by the end game, the most powerful weapons in the game are indeed the energy weapons. Let's get up to 30 just in preparation for that and shove the rest into even more flipping small guns. 
Happy with that? Done. Right. On we go to the overseer. No. Need to crack open the door again. Overseer, I will now accept your praise and admiration. I, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the water supply is stabilized. Actually, we're rebuilding our reserves. You did great. I, uh, I am a little concerned, however. All right, what's the problem now? I, I don't like your reports. What was in the reports, that is. <laughs> in fact, they scared the heck out of me. It's those mutants. I've done some calculations and... Well, I've come to an unpleasant conclusion. Okay, and what's that then? <sighs> the mutant population is far greater than could be expected by natural growth or mutations. This leads me to believe in... I don't really understand it, but... It looks like someone's generating new mutants. And at a startling rate. Okay, fair enough. So there'd be a lab somewhere then. Gotcha. Exactly. And as you've probably guessed, none of these mutations could have occurred naturally, even with the radiation from the war. You know, at some point do we want to tell him that we actually know about the story already because a horrific soon-to-be tree monster actually told me all about it, like a military base that he went to that was the source of the mutants and was swarming with mutants, so it was almost certainly the source of it, so... Yeah, this bloke, Harold, knows all about it. We're on top of this over here, we know. As long as someone is creating hostile mutants at this rate, the vault's safety is at stake. Find and destroy this lab as soon as you can. That does not sound that difficult to do. Harold has been there before. Ah, but Harold also came from a vault and wasn't able to tell me where that vault was. It's very likely he doesn't actually know anymore where the actual lab is. But he did say it was somewhere to the... He said West, didn't he? The Brotherhood's to the West. Ooh. No, the Brotherhood couldn't be making the super mutants. That can't be true. Right, you know what? That's fine. Once more onto the breach. I have no idea how sorry I am to send you back out. Not that sorry. Plus, I kind of want to test out my new shotgun anyway. So, you know what? I'm cool with it. It's fine. Me and you are good. So, now, if I check my Pip-Boy now. Ooh, the note has gone. The note has indeed gone. I don't actually have an updated time. Which I would have expected I would do, but never mind. So let's look at that mutant transmission. See if there's anything that would give us a location in that by any chance. Because, yeah, mention of the master. Fine. We know that there was a base because they were calling back to base. But we don't actually know anything else. So what do we do next in that case? Because I don't have an updated thing. Where do I even flipping start? Has the mutant laboratory been discovered yet? Even better, tell me it's been destroyed. No, but I've got some good leads at least. Good, but hurry, the more time they have to produce them, the harder they'll be to stop. Right, well you're not going to give me any useful information then, fine. In which case, I suppose, straight back out again, I guess. Yeah, this is interesting, because I don't really have any leads whatsoever. Things I know. Things I know. I've got two locations I haven't been to yet. The glow that is like way, way, way down in the middle of nowhere. I know that the cathedral is... Ooh, that is a good lead, actually. Yes, I know for a fact that the unity, which links the children of the cathedral with the super mutants, has been mentioned repeatedly. And I know that the base of the children of the cathedral is in the LA Boneyard, which I do have on my map. Okay, starting point one over there. Starting point two... Brother of Steel have been mentioned. In fact, I've actually rescued a member of the Brother of Steel, and I've potentially got a little introduction there. Plus, I am now a friend to pretty much all the flipping caravans. Return to the hub, join up with a caravan heading in the direction of the Brotherhood of Steel, and potentially, if we can just survive that trip, which with my new gun and armor I think we should be able to, I can get inside the Brotherhood of Steel, go and introduce myself to someone, because yes, indeed, the Brotherhood of Steel should now be pretty bloody happy to see me, because I've rescued one of theirs. And potentially, they might know more about it, and they're in the right direction for it anyway. So, if anyone would know about a large military base full of advanced scientific equipment, it would be the Brotherhood. So, 
two good leads there. Not really sure where to start. Let me in the comments where potentially you think I ought to start. Do I go down and speak to the children of the cathedral some more, down in the LA Boneyard, or do I head back to the hub and try and join up with a caravan heading in the direction of the Brotherhood? The possibly timings will sort that for me anyway, because the caravans don't leave on a regular basis, so if there doesn't happen to be a caravan at the right place at the right time, I might go down to the LA Boneyard to kill some time while we're waiting for that to happen. So, we shall see, ladies and gentlemen, next move, I suppose, back to the hub. And we are carrying on with that next week. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nut, and that is the end, I suppose, of the first act here in Fallout 1. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Okay, guys, I need you out of the way so I can fish. Sorry. I just really, really need to fishing, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Emotions are forbidden, all right? Oh, my goodness, I get to ride a moose. Just screw you, you don't get a moose. Oh, I've got an arm. Oh, my goodness, yes. Who's got the giant buzzsaw arm now, you bastard? <laughs>